So uh, I'm Mark from Aesthetic Studio in Toronto, and our project is the Little Robot Friends. We've got three different friends in the family. Each robot is born with a unique personality, and its behavior changes as you interact with it. It responds to light, to sound, hello, to touch, and even to each other. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're a business. We make uh, interesting things, displays, uh, uh, exhibits, you know, a bunch of installations for different types of institutions. But uh, this, this project in particular, the robot, uh, Little Robot Friends, is something that, you know, it would be really, really challenging to set aside the time for. And so uh, what this Kickstarter has allowed us to do is to focus on this project. You know, we're hoping to spend the next six months of, uh, of the year doing nothing but building robots. And I try to think about, uh, you know, talking to like the six-year-old self and, you know, about, hey man, don't worry, when you turn uh, 36, what you're going to be doing is making robots for a living. You know, and it's, uh, I don't think I would have believed myself, really. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's all these steps that you had to have to take uh, in order to get to that point. But I think I would have been pretty jazzed at this idea that uh, when I'm an adult, I'm going to be working on robots for a job. <laughs> so one of the things that we're, that we're doing right now is to form an official partnership with Arduino. And uh, they've been working on a, a new program called Ar Arduino at Heart. It's a way for you to say, look, you buy our thing, no matter what, you're going to be able to program it with Arduino. And we hope that a lot of people use this as their first Arduino project, you know, their first experiment with it. You know, and, and, and for a lot of people, they're going to find it, you know, they'll find it a challenge at first. But Arduino has such a great community, and there's so many wonderful resources out there on the web that are completely free. What we wanted to do was uh, to create a, a dock that wasn't just a programming cable, but was really a way to extend the power of the little robot. So what we're, uh, what we're working on is that uh, every dock is going to be another Arduino. So if you want to add a bunch of your own sensors, if you want to uh, connect it up to a motor or connect it up to a bell, uh, what you can do is you can do all of that on the dock, wire up your dock in a special way, plug this guy in, and all of a sudden now he can feed off of all of the other connections that are in the dock. This was our milled out uh, piece for the, the dock base. And what we're uh, planning to do is that for people who get a dock with, uh, with a robot, is we're going to we actually revise the design now, so it's actually going to be milled out of the same piece of wood. Oh, cool. I, I wanted to make a bunch of little, like, little toys. And so I made these guys, which are called the 9-volt guys. <laughs> and they're just uh, little digital puppets. So you, they just snap onto a battery, and they're little speaker just sticks. Oh, that's amazing. And then they would just, you know, you would just like hold imaginary conversations with them or, but they don't really do much more than this. At this time, uh, the, the microcontroller that we could actually fit on a board like this yeah. was uh, very, very limited. So we couldn't do any advanced programming at all to essentially to take this, this idea, this idea of like a small, um, uh, intelligent uh, robot with uh, a lot of personality and to turn that into a real project. We had uh, a new uh, team member uh, join us who is an uh, industrial designer and product designer. And so uh, I tasked him with like, okay, let's imagine that Kickstarter is going to launch in Canada mm -hmm. and we want to get these things ready for Kickstarter. So that is your task. and. Uh, and lo and behold, the next week, we found out that Kickstarter is launching in Canada precisely when we kind of imagined the timeline would work. And so we're like, all right, so this is real. So let's just let's uh, get these things ready for a Kickstarter. And so we, uh, we revised the design. We did a lot of brainstorming on uh, different ways that we could kind of incentivize these things in order to make them uh, more unique. So we have a limited number of ones that we're going to be shipping out before the end of the year. Uh, we're going to be, and that's 100. Mm -hmm.